Hi all, let's solve this question. This is gate 1993 question in the set theory. Let S be an infinite set S1 to Sn. These are set such that S1 union S2 union Sn that is S. Then which of these statement is true? Okay, so this question is very simple and for this question you can notice that if you have two finite set then what can you say about their union? So if you have for example if I ask you if you have a finite set union finite set then what that will be so finite set union finite set you can notice here you have finite number of elements here you have finite number of elements so maybe maybe here you have okay maybe n elements maybe you have okay here maybe you have m m elements okay then in that case finite set union finite set the result also will be a finite set okay and you can notice that this finite set the number of elements will be less than less than equal to so in this in this the number of elements will be less than equal to n plus m okay because for example if you have a finite set let's assume your finite set is a 1 comma 2 so in this you have two elements okay so i can say n is equal to 2 union if you have another finite set for example let's assume 2 comma 3 comma 4 in this number of elements is 3 so what is their union their union will be 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so you can notice this is also a finite set and the number of elements in this that is basically less than equal to 2 plus 3 okay so that is the idea so if you have a finite set union another finite set then the number of elements will again be finite okay so the number of elements can be maximum n plus m if they are disjoint for example if they are disjoint like if you have 1 comma 2 union 3 comma 4 comma 5 if you have this then you can notice that what will be the union union will be 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is the idea so if you have a finite set here n is equal to 2 and here number of elements that is equal to 3 so here the number of elements is basically n plus m that is equal to 5 okay so maximum the number of elements can be n plus m so this is the idea now you can say that if you have finite let's assume assume that s1 let's assume all of them are finite let's assume you have some finite set okay so let's assume all of them are finite like s1 s2 s3 and so on let's assume sn okay so let's assume these are finite set then what can you say about their union s1 union s2 union s3 union and so on if all of them are finite remember each one of them is finite s1 is finite s2 is finite s3 is finite if all of them are finite then what can you say about their union their union also must be a finite set definitely their union cannot be infinite because number of elements here is finite number of elements here is finite so in every set number of element is finite so in the union what union will do the union will merge all the elements that is the definition of union so all the elements of these set they will be merged they will be combined okay so you can notice that in the union again you will have finite number of elements so if you have finite sets then their union will definitely be finite set now if you want if you want your result to be infinite for example let's assume okay you want an infinite set then you cannot have so if you want an infinite set here then you cannot have all the finite set here because if all of them are finite then the result will be finite okay so definitely you need at least one infinite set okay so because what we know we know that if you have a finite set and if you do the union with infinite set okay so finite set union infinite set what that will be that will be definitely infinite set because in the union we combine all the elements the all the elements of this set all the elements of this set will be combined and you can notice here we have infinite number of elements so the result will be infinite set so the final point is that if you want your result to contain infinite number of elements okay then at least one infinite set you must have okay at least one for example okay at least one infinite set you must have you cannot have all the finite set at least one infinite set must be there correct okay so the idea is this so if s1 union s2 union sn is equal to s okay then what can you say about their union the what can you say about uh, these set s1 to si at least one of them must be infinite at least one of set that must be infinite so this is correct remember the option a is saying that at least one of them must be finite this is not correct why this is not correct for example option a option a is actually wrong why option a is wrong because option a is saying that at least one of these set at least one of these set must be 
finite but this is not correct for example you can take set of all even numbers you can take union set of all odd numbers you can take and the result is a set of all integers okay so if you take set of all even integers union set of all odd, odd integers the result is integers so you can notice this is an infinite set okay and this is also infinite set this is also infinite set so the point is that at least one of these is finite this is not necessary so this option a is basically wrong okay because all of them can be infinite if you want infinite set then all of them can be infinite for example this final result you want infinite this set you want this set you want infinite set then okay you can take all the infinite set there is no problem there is no problem okay all of them can be infinite this also can be infinite this also can be infinite there is no problem okay but at least one of them must be infinite if at least one of them is infinite then automatically you will get an infinite set okay so for example if let's assume this is infinite okay now you don't have to worry about s2 you don't have to worry about sn they can be finite or infinite okay so this can be finite or this can be infinite similarly this can be finite or this can be infinite but if at least one of them is infinite then when you combine all the elements then you will get an infinite set so finally the result that you will get that will be an infinite set okay so this is the idea if at least one of them is infinite then the result will be infinite and if the result is infinite set then at least one of them must be infinite set okay so the question is saying not more than one uh, one of the set can be finite this is also wrong because you can have more than one finite set there is no problem as you can see here if s1 is infinite then s2 to sn they can be finite there is no problem for example if you have set of all even numbers okay union now you can do this okay now you can do this set of all even numbers union this now the result is infinite set because the result is again set of all even numbers now you can notice at least one infinite set must be there the remaining i don't care we don't care about the remaining so this option b is wrong option d is saying not more than one can be infinite this is also wrong because more than one can be infinite so you can notice here all of them can be infinite there is no problem okay for example here this and this both are infinite so more than one can be infinite all of them can be infinite but at least one of them must be infinite so answer is at least one of them must be infinite here you can write one result actually okay so this is the final point so let me just answer this that basically if you have okay uh, if you want union of n set is infinite if and only if at least one of these set is infinite so this is the final result union of n sets you have total n sets union of these n sets is infinite if and only if at least one of them is infinite so if you have okay if see if at least one of them is infinite you have total n set if at least one of them is infinite then i can say that s1 union s2 union sn is infinite okay so this direction is also correct and this direction is also correct basically if s1 union s2 union sn okay if this is infinite then at least one of them must be infinite okay so this is a if and only if means both the directions are correct so for this question the answer will be option c